Some Lakeshore homeowners in Morrison County would like to stay home, but their homes are underwater. We've told you about the continuing rising waters of Shamino Lake southeast of Motley. As Bill Hudson shows us, this spring it's only getting worse, now inundating at least 37 homes and cabins. This is Cantleberry Road. For artists and Terry Sandstrom, retirement on Lake Shamino was to be carefree in their new dream home. Our house right now is an island. We are totally circled by sandbags. That's because floodwaters inundate theirs and 36 other homes and cabins. Every day is an hour or two taking care of the sump pumps and plugging the holes of the dam. The lake has no natural outlet, and for the past eight years, it's been on a steady climb. Though it's up another six inches over winter, there's no disaster assistance like other spring flooding. This lake has been coming up for eight years. It's slow. It's um, something that people don't see, and they don't realize how devastating it is to lose your home, and they don't see this as a disaster. Shamino is three feet over its 100 year high water mark. There's a plan to pump water out, but it's stalled by regulatory hurdles. This is the slowest process ever, and trying to save your home, while well, you know that you have to follow every single rule. It's hard. Meantime, landowners and the township are pouring money into raising roads, levees, and sandbags, and praying for dry weather. Hot and dry summer. We'll take it. For the Sandstroms, sheltering in place is a camper because a pandemic will subside long before the water does. We do not expect to get back into our house for years. Near Motley, Bill Hudson, WCCO 4 News. Two proposed bills would help with flood mitigation, but both remain stalled with the current pandemic.